Ready to go. Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a special video today all about the Australian arm wrestling scene. Uh, a lot of people don't know what really is going on down here. Um, Australia is in a position where we really do love the sport. We have a great united front. The Australian Arm Wrestling Federation really does unite us all very well. And um, we've been passionate about arm wrestling as a nation uh, collectively for about nine years now. So. Uh, I'm at seven and a half years, the Federation started just before that, but today I wanted to introduce you to what I consider to be the top 10 ranked overall arm wrestlers, plus a few honourable mentions. So, we'll kick it off with number one, Mr. Ben Carroll. Alright, Mr. Ben Carroll I'm putting as the number one ranked. Uh, now, just a quick note, again, uh, administrative note, we're talking right arm here. Uh, and this is the overall ranks. This is not about the ability, this is about who would win the match. I put Ben Carroll as the rank number one. Uh, the reason I put Ben Carroll as rank number one is largely because of his Zloty Turp performance in 2019. Ben Carroll finished fifth in the super heavyweight division in a class that had 35 uh, competitors. Um, he really did impress that day. Uh, it was the standout performance from any Australian there. And um, he did it in a brutal fashion. He was uh, flop pressing. Uh, he's known for his low hand top roll, um, typically. But as soon as that wrist was getting tired, he just dropped the shoulder and uh, put a lot of people to the sword. So Ben Carroll um, takes the, the number one position for me on my rankings list based on that performance. Some other notable things that Ben Carroll has done, uh, he's had a super match with Lars Rabakin a few years ago where he lost that 3-2, but did get very close to beating Lars. Um, he has been in the Oceanic Championships, uh, been to the final of that. Um, genuine badass. And he is number one in my list. All right, number two. Uh, good tr friend, good training partner of mine, Lachlan Adair. I'm going to put Lachlan Adair as the number two ranked overall right arm arm wrestler in Australia. Um, Lachlan, uh, the reason I have Lachlan is I truly believe he is, A, genetically so gifted for the sport of arm wrestling. Uh, the guy's packing now 21 inch biceps, 17 inch forearms. Um, he is a phenomenal athlete. The, the amount of strength and size specific to arm wrestling that he's put on in the last year is crazy. He used to be a, a, an elite powerlifter, competitive since, um, since being a teenager, I believe in that and he evolved into arm wrestling about two years ago he really developed the focus on arm wrestling uh, and he's no longer a powerlifter he uh, has had matches against Mike Aiello where he lost his probably best performance was at Zlotti Tour again last year in the 105 kilo class um, in that class he looked amazing he got unlucky with some elbow foul calls very minor elbow foul calls but genuinely Lachlan Adair I believe to be the number two ranked right arm arm wrestler in Australia, uh, only behind Ben Carroll. All right, number three, I'm going to say Ryan the Milkman Scott. Ryan the Milkman Scott weighing in at about 115 kilos, um, multiple national champion, uh, longtime rival of, of New Zealand super heavyweight champion Matai Warangi Heather Morris. Um, Ryan Scott is known for having a wrist of steel. Uh, Hands of Steel Arm Wrestling Club is his club uh, subsequently that he made. Um, real posting loaded pressure followed by a lot of side pressure off the go. Ryan Scott, very dangerous arm wrestler, very offensive based arm wrestler. Um, he technically on the Australian arm wrestling scene is ranked number one, but it's been over a year and a half since he has competed against anyone uh, of the likes of Ben Carroll or... or um, or Lachlan Adair. He has wins over both of those guys, but if I had to rank them, I have him at number three. All right, number four, I have the uh, former Latvian legend, uh, Gunters Bykovs. Gunters Bykovs from South Australia. Uh, Gunters, as the name suggests, uh, he is from Latvia. Uh, he moved to Australia some five years ago, I think. And uh, when he arrived here, his pedigree was way above everybody's in the, in the nation. Um, he's been arm wrestling for 20 plus years, uh, finished second at WAF Worlds for the, uh, the, the super heavyweight, uh, in the, uh, in the Masters division, um, 
what else? What else can I say about Guntis? He has Latvian national titles. Uh, he's done well in Europeans, and uh, he's a genuine, genuine arm wrestler. Really genuine arm wrestler. Um, he would have been ranked number one for some time. It's only that he has really retired from the sport, but his pedigree is so good that even in his retired state, I still have him as rank number four. All right, rank number five, I am going to throw my hat in the ring and put myself uh, the first non-super heavy weight. I'm going to put it, I'm going to give it to me. I'm going to pip all the others, I'm going to give it to me. Um, I feel like I've got the edge on everyone else on the list. The guys before me, um, they're all big supers that I can't quite beat, but I'm hungry from chasing them. You guys know enough about me, I don't need to tell you about me. All right, number six. I'm going to give it to a gentleman named Mario Timbarkas. Mario Timbarkas from Sydney. Um, he is a young guy, only I think 24 years old. Um, big beard, he doesn't look 24. Uh, and mind you, um, Mario is one of the easily most under the radar pullers when it comes to the international perspective. Uh, he has only faced an international once. It was Dan Mosier, and he beat Dan Mosier in the tournament. Dan had already pulled a super match that day, so there is a lot, obviously a lot of context to it. But stylistically, uh, if I had to tell you who Mario is like, I would say he pulls like Storm Cellino. Very hand and wrist based arm wrestler. Incredible top roller, can hook, can press, can do everything very, very efficiently. Incredibly dangerous guy. He weighs in currently at 95 kilos and is a phenomenally strong guy for his age. Uh, huge potential. Mario Tembarkas, I'm going to put at number six. All right, number seven. Interesting one, interesting one. I'm going to put Brett Coots at number seven. Brett Coots, um, again, multiple national champion. He's He sits between 95 kilos and 110 kilos, depending what sort of season he's in. But I would say Brett Coots, very strong slow puller. Uh, speed is his vulnerability, but in a stopped position, he has more endurance in the hook than almost anyone else in the country. And uh, for that reason, he has to be put in the top 10 list, uh, without a doubt. Brett Coots, I think, um, totally uh, can beat almost anyone on the day. He gets to his position, even against the likes of, of Ben Carroll. I think that he would be able to outlast Ben Carroll in a hook. Um, but he's vulnerable to the speed. People like Ryan Scott give him real trouble. And um, uh, yeah, Brett Coots. I've never beaten Brett Coots uh, officially, uh, but I do give myself uh, and Mario the edge over him simply for the reason of our style and the explosivity that both of us bring. I think that uh, Brett would struggle to catch the hit, but undoubtedly if Brett was in the hook with myself or Mario, he would win. But given the passion that I've got, the passion that Mario's got, I've pipped this over Brett, and Brett, I'm going to keep at number seven. All right, number eight, I'm going to go Fatali Matteo. Uh, you guys saw me pull Fatali uh, just the other week. Uh, Fatali, I believe, is um, one of those guys that is absolutely genetically gifted. His hand is enormous, uh, forearm enormous, and he turned up like this before he'd even... Uh, got involved in arm wrestling. He turned up looking like an absolute weapon. Uh, Fatali Matteo really is carved from stone and uh, big top roll on him, very hard. I've, I've beaten him three times, lost to him twice. Um, and the times that I lost to him, I was trying to top roll. Uh, he's, he's not so dangerous if you can force the hook, but getting in there is a real issue. And if you try to top roll him, he is incredibly dangerous. So Fatali Matteo, I'm going to have at number eight. Number nine, I'm going to put Jordan Davis. You know, Jordan Davis, again, training partner. Uh, pound for pound, probably the best arm wrestler in the country. Um, hand control king. Uh, the guy is a technical master of the sport. Uh, understands it so well. If you need someone in your corner to guide you in a super match, Jordan Davis is the man you want. He, he can read a match better than anyone um, that I personally know. And um, phenomenal arm wrestler. Connective tissue is very developed, um, very unassuming. You will not expect him to be as strong as he is. Uh, trust me, Jordan Davis is an absolute badass, and I have him at number nine. Number ten, I'm going to go young Andy Lee from Victoria. Um, Andy Lee currently weighing 105 kilos, but um, can get it as low as 90 if he has to. Andy Lee started the same time as Jordan Davis. I believe he's the same age as Jordan Davis, which is 24, 25 years old. Um, 
Very strong guy, likes to hook, uh, but has a very offensive nature about his style as well. Um, he's someone that if I would back him over Brendan Lemon, Mulville Hill, uh, I think he would slot very easily into a WA or middleweight division and do just fine. Um, probably be mid-pack there. Uh, I've never lost to him, but he makes me work real hard. And I, in fact, have a super match with him on the 12th of December. So Andy Lee, I'm going to give number 10. Now, I wanted to give some honorable mentions to a bunch of people. Um, there were some names that I so could have put at number 10 that I was debating. Um, names like Doug Fatafee from Queensland, uh, really offensive base hooker, really strong dude, um, dangerous, has beaten many people in that top 10 list. Uh, only reason I couldn't include him and I put Andy in is simply for the motivation factor. Uh, I'm Doug isn't as hungry as some of the other guys on the top 10 list, and therefore I feel like uh, those other guys just get ahead of Doug. But Doug, absolute weapon, honorable mention. Another honorable mention is Pepe Panzetti from Brazil. He resides in Australia at the moment. Um, again, very dangerous guy. Has wins on guys inside the top 10. Uh, he beat Jordan Davis in a super match. Pepe was 105 kilos at the time. Jordan was only 85 kilos at the time. But Jordan has beaten him as well when they were both the same weight. Um, he lost to Doug Fatafee, but he's beaten Fatali. So it's hard. Styles make matches. Pepe's a weapon. Done very well at the WAF as a junior. Um, yeah, he's a killer. And other, let me give another honorable mention to Tim Rocco from Victoria. This guy trains with Brad Coots, trains with Andy Lee, and is rapidly developing a, a very dangerous inside game and, pu and pressing game. Probably the best presser in Australia, probably the best flop wrist presser in Australia, uh, Tim Rocco. Hard to know where he's at, um, given COVID, and it's been a long time. Um, Tim Rocco uh, definitely deserves an honorable mention and could become a imminent threat on uh, any of the top 10 if he starts putting it together. All right, guys. That is it for the Australian Top 10. Another honourable mention, I'm going to go to Tom Uglacia. The man is injured at the moment, going through shoulder surgery and reconstruction, but uh, has finished as high as second in the Super Heavyweight Division. Um, I would normally have put him in the Top 10, but because of the injury situation, he's out. But expect this man, Tom Uglacia, to be back in the Top 10 once he is back healthy again. Plus a few honourable mentions. Uh, the reason for this video is just to show you guys, I want to give you some perspective on where the Australian scene's at, how good the Australian scene is, uh, the caliber of arm wrestlers, and I wanted you to look up all these guys, go follow them all on Instagram, follow them all, some of them are on YouTube, check out their matches, um, they're genuine, really genuine guys that are hungry and that are amazing arm wrestlers, incredibly strong and very talented. Alright guys, take care, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Yes, that's a man!